All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the V Business Builder Tuesday Night Training. This is a, a place, for those of you who are new, it's a place where we come every week on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock to come together in a spirit of harmony, to, to work and train together, go over some content, uh, give you new tips and tools and what's working, uh, how to get customers, how to build your business, and really just come together to, to, uh, to train and reach out to people in, in, in a group and kind of hold each other accountable and just kind of build a community. So. Uh, as you guys are building your teams, make sure you you uh, highlight this to people that they that they make it part of their their core week and in, in, uh, you know method of operation and Vive. So what I wanted to do tonight, I I spent the week training with uh, four days training with Bob Proctor in L.A. and it was about the art of goal achieving. So what I wanted to do is just give you a, a little bit of uh, information for that, a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tutorial. So I'm going to switch the screen here and just bear with me. All right, so you guys can see this, yeah? All right, so oh. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna kind of paraphrase some of what Bob did because it was, it was a four day seminar, you know? But he was talking, he really got really deep into the subconscious mind and, and how thoughts become things and what a goal even is, setting a goal. Um, and it, like I said, he got into the science of this. When we set a goal, we're actually doing is manipulating energy, which sounds probably very scientific. But a goal is nothing more than a collection of thoughts, and thoughts are literally energy, energy and motion. So when you set a goal, what you're doing is you're, you're putting out it with, into the universe with intention something you want. But it's also a destination. If we don't set a goal, what are we, you know, what are we going for? Um, and the goal could be 500 a month. It could be 5,000 a month. It could be a certain size team. It could be anything inside of Eve. But we definitely want to have goals for 2019. And we want to separate the difference between a goal and a task. Um, reaching out to 20 people a night is not a goal. That's a task. The reason I say that is because we know how to do it. Getting to $20,000 a month by the end of 2019 could be a goal because you might not know how to do that. You guys see the difference? So we have a lot of tasks. And we, we call them methods of operation. Uh, that we need to do inside of Vive or any business. I mean, everything I'm going to tell you tonight is not just a Vive thing. It could be real estate, whatever your core business is. This is just business one-on-one. Um, you know, contacting and inviting, that's not a network marketing thing. That's, that's a business thing. That's, that's prospecting. So what I want to kind of illustrate to you guys here is a, a cycle of thinking that we as network marketers need to, to understand and to shift. And what I'm going to show you here is, is what you would call the typical masses thinking. And this is the way we're programmed from birth. This is the way we go through school. This is the way pretty much everything's done. We, we take a look at our results, like the bank account. We look in the mirror. We look at our physical fitness. We look at the results to form our thinking. And we do this all the time. Every time you walk in front of a mirror, you know, it, it, most people are not in the habit of visualizing what they want to look like. They just look in the mirror and see results. And that causes the same old thinking, right? And the way this works, if, if, we're, if we have the same thinking, the same thinking produces the same feelings that we're used to. This is why people can get stuck in like a Groundhog Day effect if they're just kind of droning away at the same job every day. And I think this is why network marketing appeals to so many people. It's that chance. It's that hope. It's that new thing. It's the possibility, right? It's, it's the, the unlimited income ceiling. It's the, it's the community, the friendships. Um, when, we're, when we're selling this to somebody, you want to sell them the whole package, not just and I don't mean you get to get into a two-hour presentation, but you want to sell them on the community and the benefits and the hope and the belief of, of what we're really bringing here. Um, and what that does, that'll change their thinking. It'll change their feelings. But this typical mass is thinking, this is what normal people go through every day. They wake up, go to work, same results, same thinking, produces the same feelings, and the same feelings every day produce the same actions. So this is what Bob calls a self-fulfilling doom cycle. It's a groundhog day effect, right? It's, it's, it's we're starting with the results. So what I'm going to challenge you guys to do in 2019 is to shift 90 degrees like, like we do, right? Like Bob teaches us to do. This is how the 1% thinks. The 1% starts with new thinking, new thoughts. This would, this would be also called a goal. A goal is just a new thought. It's a collection of ideas and ideas are energy. When you're thinking of a goal, you're putting energy in motion. It's thought energy. That's all it is. 
And I'm not going to get too deep into the, the universal law of perpetual transmutation of energy, but just bear with me here because I'm holding up a cell phone. And this, this had to exist in thought before it ever became a phone. In other words, we didn't have the phone and then Steve Jobs thought about it. I think everybody would agree. You can see the logic there. So everything starts as thought energy. Everything. You can't look at anything in your world, the car, the clothes you're wearing, anything, that did not start first in thought energy and then second it would, it would uh, eventually transmit into the physical form. So new thinking causes the whole universe, not just, not just a nice thing to do or a fluffy thing. New thinking is, is the movement of energy towards a new uh, end result. So $50,000 a month, Residual income is new thinking, 5,000 a month. Whatever your goal is, is new thinking. Does that make sense? Now, what we got to do is we got to get the new thinking from the conscious mind, just stating a goal, into the subconscious mind. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this in a minute. But when we have new thinking, it causes new feelings. Now, we've all experienced this on many levels. The first time you met your significant other, you had new feelings, new, like new thinking, fantasies which caused new feelings of euphoria, right? And the new feelings caused new actions. You acted differently. So this is not, we're doing this all the time anyway. We just don't tend to do it on things that we have limiting beliefs about, like our network marketing company, if you have limiting beliefs. So which we're here to change all that tonight and, and give you a little bit about how and why this stuff works so you can, you can um, start to use your mind and your body a little more effectively. Uh, new feelings obviously produce new actions. Right? When we're feeling better about ourselves, if we're, we start to go to the gym, we like the results, produces new actions, new feelings, and new actions produce new results. Does this make sense, guys? I mean, this is not rocket science, but when you see it this plain in your face, it really highlights, maybe even in our own lives, that we, if you're looking at your bank account, if you're looking at your, your current physical state, if you're looking at your environment, looking at your current house, if you don't like it, that's not what we do. That's not what visionaries do. That's not what people of action do. We want to rotate this thing 90 degrees and only, only, only think about what we want. Right? When I, when I coach people, I, I tell them, you know, worrying is like praying for what you don't want. If you have bills and debt and lack and worry and you're struggling, the more you think about it, the more of that you'll get because that's the same old thinking, same feeling, same action, same results. Does that make sense, guys? Hopefully this kind of highlights a little bit. Now I'm going to get a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper. Let me skip past some of this. Uh, bear with me. All right, so we're going to deal with this. So this graphical representation, if you haven't seen it before, it's just a picture that we use to, to um, depict your mind and your body. So you'll see that the, the top circle, the larger circle, is a graphical representation of your mind, and it really has two parts. And most people are aware of we have the conscious mind, which is the thinking mind, and we have the subconscious mind which is the doing mind. That's a good way to think about it. Your subconscious, body, um, subconscious mind is what is controlling your body to take action. So if you're not in the habit of text blitzing, reaching out to people, if you let thoughts of fear, lack, doubt, and worry get in the way and you don't pick the phone up, this is why. Because you don't have the habit. You don't have the subconscious conditioning of reaching out to people. Uh, we let uh, – actually, I'll, I'll continue on the slide. You'll see exactly why. Um, but the subconscious mind controls the body. 96% of what we do is habitual. You don't think when you're walking. You don't think when you're talking, eating, driving. Most of what you do is subconscious activity, subconsciously driven. And this is why in network marketing, we need to form habits. Very rarely people get into network marketing. They have all these amazing habits of reaching out to 30 people, following up, showing the business, disconnecting from results, studying the material. Like, we don't come into network marketing with these habits. And you didn't come into the world knowing how to walk either, but you, you did something in a space repetitive manner until you learned it. Anything you've ever done in your life that was worth doing, you did it in a space repetitive manner until you, until you could physically reproduce it. And what happens there is the, we start to introduce an idea in the conscious mind. Like let's say it's a baby walking. They will consciously try to take a step and another step, and if they fall over, the subconscious will not store the negative stuff. It will only store what worked. That makes sense? So if you take a good step and says, okay, that worked, and you take another step and that worked, the subconscious is storing what's working, and it's not storing when you fall on your face. 
So this is how we get something from the conscious to the subconscious mind. It's the same thing with text blitzing, contacting and inviting. You've got to try it, and it's going to be awkward at first, and you might not be good at it. But when you get a positive feedback, somebody says, yes, I will go on the appointment, your subconscious mind will store all the good parts of what worked. Now, if you get emotionally involved, you'll miss all of this. If you, get, if you curl up in a ball and get emotionally involved, they said no, they said boo, they said it's a pyramid scheme, then you're going to miss all this and your subconscious mind won't store the program. And this, is, this happens a lot in network marketing. It's very important to, at least at some level, understand your mind-body connection. So you see two sides of this equation. You see in the conscious mind, we have negative thoughts, positive thoughts. That's what the pluses and minuses are. So on the negative side of thinking, we have ignorance. And ignorance is not knowing. Uh, almost everybody, when they start network marketing, they're ignorant. I was ignorant. I knew nothing of the industry. I was completely ignorant. Um, now, if you don't understand this stuff, ignorance can, can cause a lot of worry and doubt. You know, if you, if you um, I don't know, if you just got a, a big promotion, a job, you went from being a, an employee to a manager of like 100 people, uh, you might let worry and doubt and negative thinking into your mind. And watch what happens over here on the, as we go from the mind to the body, right? When you have worry and doubt, it goes from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind, and it, it forms the emotion of fear. Anybody ever have fear in their life? This is what's going on. It starts with ignorance, worry, and doubt. See, when we know something, we don't fear it. It's only when we don't know. It's like public speaking. If you're not good at public speaking, if you haven't done it a lot, it just means you, you're ignorant about it. And ignorant is not a bad word. It's just not knowing. And I use that example because I think a lot of people fear public speaking. Well, this is why. But it's because you're worried and you have doubts about being able to deliver the material. But worry and doubt are actually chosen thoughts. Right? So what happens here is fear held on long enough. It, it has to express itself to and through in the physical form of anxiety. So if anybody's ever had anxiety, this is exactly what's going on from your conscious to your subconscious to your body. And this is very, very paramount in network marketing because this is what causes people to stop. I only invested $100. I don't like this feeling. I'm just not going to do this anymore. But if it was a $100,000 restaurant, you would have no choice but to push through the fear and anxiety. Right? So if you can explain this stuff at some level, I'm recording this video. So if you have people in your downline, if you want to understand why people take action and some people don't, this, this is why. And this could be anything. This is not, like I said, not just network marketing. So anxiety produces procrastination. It's easier to just not text or not pick up the phone or not show somebody the business. It becomes easier to procrastinate to remove that feeling in your gut that you don't like, the anxiety. That makes sense? So procrastination, though, unfortunately, over a long enough period of time will lead to depression. If you spend 40, 50 years not accomplishing or doing much, you're going to be depressed. It's just the way it is. I mean, you see people that, that just never go out. They play it safe. They don't take risks. Um, and they walk, they tiptoe through life, just hoping to make it safely to death. This is what's going on. Um, and it all starts from what? If you look at the top left-hand side, it starts from ignorance. The reason why somebody wouldn't invest in stocks and, and make a fortune in stocks is from ignorance, from, from not studying. Uh, and depression eventually leads, leads to disease, right? The body not at ease, dis-ease. So let's get to the happy side of the page here, right? And this is the part we want to focus on in network marketing. Um, Positive-based thinking comes from knowledge, and knowledge comes from study. So knowledge in network marketing is going to come from studying Eric Worre and GoPro and uh, Ray Higdon and Rank Makers and maybe our Matrix Mindset Academy. Um, different materials, people that have proven by their actions that they know how to make seven figures in network marketing. We need to study that stuff. Now, you don't, you don't need a four-year degree. You can study for 15 minutes a day. but Make no bones about it. In network marketing, you need to study the industry and study how to uh, become effective, at least on some level. Um, but study and understanding leads to positive thinking. We don't fear things that we know about. You don't fear driving your car. You know how to drive your car. You probably did fear it the first time, though. Right? So study and knowledge produce faith. Now, I'm not using faith in a religious term, although it is the same thing. Faith is just the opposite side of the same coin of fear. It's an invisible, intangible emotion now here comes the million dollar question because we have a choice for all of this why on earth would we ever choose fear over faith i think most people don't know that it's a choice but it's absolutely a choice 
Uh, there's almost nothing that we have to fear in our life unless somebody's holding a gun to your head. It's very, it's very rare that our life is in danger, that we need to fear the situation that's in front of us, like talking to a prospect. That's, a, that's an irrational, emotional, invisible um, expression. So if, if you, you start to understand that if you can pick either one, why not have faith? Why not choose faith and paint a picture? I'm going to show my friend this business. They might see it, they might not, but I'm, I'm here to really help them change their lives. You know, most of the friends that I would call near and dear to me have come from network marketing now. I've been in it for five years, and most of the people that I would call dear friends are in network marketing. I was talking to Paul earlier about this. Um, you know, I have all these revenue streams, all these business I work with, Bob, it all came from network marketing. So when I present this, I have faith in what I'm showing, right? And you guys should too. You want to play with this stuff a little bit. Um, faith suppresses into the body as well-being and calmness. And when somebody's well-being and they're educated and they have knowledge and calm, it produces acceleration and action. See, action is what is lacking in network marketing. A lot of, a lot of people study, study, study. It's the action that's missing because of fear on the results. I don't want to get a no. But then you talk to a guy like Ray Higdon, and his very goal was to get 20 no's a day. Think about that. It's a different perception on the same exact information. He just understood at a high level what it takes to uh, succeed in any business, right? That's, that could be real estate. It could be a restaurant. It could be anything. So action produces a body at ease. When you're in uh, – Eric Rory did this before. We have all these negative emotions. And if you were to draw a line down a piece of paper and list out all these negative emotions on one side, fear, doubt, lack, worry, anger, procrastination, every, every negative thing you guys could think about, if you put it on one side of a piece of paper – Draw a line down the middle. You could put one word on the opposite side, which would be two words, massive action. If you ever have anxiety, start taking massive action. If you're ever depressed, take massive action. If you're feeling anything, fear, just take massive action. Reach out to 30 people. <clears throat> you cannot be in a state of massive action and feel anger, stress, any of those things. It'll go away. It's a very powerful uh, exercise to do. Uh, so the other thing I want to show you about this here, guys, too, when we, when we set a goal, and hopefully you guys have a goal for 2019. If you don't, I want to work on that tonight and get one because the subconscious mind does not know what to do without clear direction. It won't drive the body into action. If you don't have the goal for pace setter at some point or partner or something, um, then you're going to probably spin your wheels because there's no direction. It's like um, there's two things. It's like if you got dropped off in the middle of a – middle of a jungle in Africa with a blindfold and you didn't know it was Africa. You're just in the middle of a jungle. Now, there's two things you need to know where you are. Number one, which most of us, we got to define that where we're at, but even more importantly is where do you want to go? Now, if you're in the middle of a jungle in Africa, you wouldn't know, how would you know where to go without a direction, without a destination or GPS, right? So your subconscious mind is like a GPS. It needs a very, 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 very clear image of where you want to go. Uh, where you want to go. And that's what the goal is, right? So when we get the idea of a goal, it sits up here in the conscious mind. The way you get into the subconscious mind so that your body takes action, there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, number one is from becoming aware, like watching what I'm doing here, just understanding. Number two is like goal, um, goal cards. Writing out a statement on a card, I'm so happy and grateful now that by January 1, 2020, I'm earning in excess of $5,000 a month in my V business. Set a goal, and you want to set one that you don't know how to get. And that, that, that's confusing to a lot of people. Like, well, I have to know I'm going to get it. It's like, but let's say your goal is pace setter, and you've never been a pace setter before. You're not going to know how to get there, right? If you already knew how to be a pace setter, you'd already be one. So that's a very logical statement. So we need to set a goal that's going to challenge us and then get around like-minded people, make a goal card, Make a vision board. See, the vision board is another thing that will help you suppress the goal into the subconscious mind. Remember when I said that mind is, mind is motion. When we're moving energy. So from the conscious to the subconscious, then it goes to and through the body, and then 12 months later, you have the physical goal of the $10,000 a month. So what I'm showing you here is the transmutation of energy to and through your body, which all starts with a goal, and how and why and the science behind why it works. So if you don't have a goal, guys, we want to work on that a little bit tonight. Um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of this. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it. Just so you understand what's going on 
Uh, if you're not taking action, the left side of this chart is why. It comes from ignorance. Um, disease comes from ignorance. Right? Somebody that mistreats their body for 30 years and ends up with diabetes, it comes from ignorance. Comes from ignorant. It might not be their ignorance. It might have been their parents. Right? Ignorance is not a bad term. They just didn't know better. Right? Their diet, their, their parents might have had junk food in the house for 20 years when they were growing up. But everything on this right side, sorry, left side starts from ignorance. And everything on the left side, sorry, right side starts from knowledge. So if you're not producing well in your Vive business, it starts with a little bit of knowledge. It starts with coming to Tuesday nights every, every week and picking up a little bit of knowledge in the business. Because uh, a lot of us here study this like a science. So uh, does that make sense, guys? So you really want to um, pay attention to the, your mind-body connection, how this works, and how to really accomplish, accomplish anything. It's study and knowledge produces faith and puts the body in motion. So that's, um, that's a little bit about how and why you want to set goals and how it works. Um, when we were out there, one of the things I do want to say to you guys, Bob went off on a tangent about how in love with network marketing is. Now, he's not in network marketing, and he has no reason to promote network marketing. He is just in love with the business model because he's, in his, his mind, he said it's the truest form of compensation in a business model that he's aware of. In network marketing, you get paid what you're worth. And some of you might not like me saying that, right? Because if you're new or if you've been in for three years and you haven't accomplished much, it's not, from a, it's not, la it's not necessarily from a lack of effort. It's a, from a lack of effective effort. Right, so network marketing, we get paid to help people. I think that's the, bis the big disconnection. You know, we're not, we don't get, I mean, yeah, we get paid for customers, but what's, getting a customer is helping somebody, especially in our business. I mean, I love, we're, we're helping people save money on energy. We're helping people with uh, medical, with their health, or roadside assistance. Like, everything we're doing is help, 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 help. We're very, very fortunate that we're in a company where I think we can really stand behind the products and say, oh, we, we, we save money. I mean, you, you guys heard Cami. Every single product we're going to have is going to be geared towards saving money, improving the quality of life. So you need to, you need to really understand that and make peace with it and understand what we have. And when you're sitting in front of a prospect, don't let them pull you off track. Just one of those pyramid schemes, right? You need to control your own energy, understand what we're offering. Understand, that, I mean, look at the faces. Here. Look at the community of people that we're bringing other people into, that they will instantly have all these friends and, and helpful people. Uh, that's a very powerful thing. So sales is not something that we do to people. It's something we do for somebody. And I think that's why Bob said he, he really went off for a while. He's like, it's the truest form of compensation. The people that are at the top um, have dedicated their lives towards helping other people. You can't get to the top without helping people. So I thought that was pretty cool because Bob's uh, fairly well respected around the world, right? Um, and the other thing I want to work with guys here is really surrendering to the process. There's only a few things we do in network marketing. We reach out for customers. We reach out to show the business. We get on trainings and meetings, and we, we promote uh, to our downline. So uh, if you do those four or five things every single day in a repetitive manner and, and you know, hold a faith-based mindset, uh, you have a 100% chance of success. The time variable might be different. It might take somebody six months. might take somebody six years. There was one gentleman on stage. It took him 16 years to break seven figures in residual income. Now, most of the people here, you've been working for 16 years or more in your career. Are you at seven figures in income? You see, you see like network marketing is a super powerful thing. It's just that people get the wrong idea. They think they're going to do it for three, six, nine, maybe even 12 months and become millionaires. Some people do. Most people don't. But it's in the five years and the 10 years that people miss the big picture. That's what I really want you guys to understand here. Like, understand the business. Understand the model. If you guys are looking back at me 10 years from now in this business, you'll be at a healthy, healthy, you know, I can't say what the dollar amount will be, but it'll, it'll be light years ahead of what you would have done in your traditional business. I can promise you that's because most of you don't have leverage in your traditional business. Does that make sense? So you want to surrender to the process. Just do the thing. I like what Lisa Kennedy says, do the do. And, um, and stop being so worried about what people think. Disconnect from results. I don't care if you get customers. I care if you try to get them. Right? I, don't, I don't care if you get business partners. I care that you try to show the business model and do like Lisa says and ask people if they're open to seeing something, right? So disconnecting from the results is something I think you guys hear us say a lot, but it's very important you understand what that means. 
distant, disconnecting from the results means you don't curl up in a ball when somebody rejects your, you know, rejects your either being a customer or rejects a business model. Um, when somebody says no, they're not saying no to you. It's really just feedback that you need to get better at your presentation. And that's not a bad thing. It's feedback. That's, it's a mechanism. That's how we get better. Um, you know, imagine if somebody, Tiger Woods, first time he swung a golf club, if he swung it once, he saw, oh, I didn't, that didn't even hit the ball. I give up. Right? So we, we want to make sure we, we understand ourselves and what we're doing. It's, what you want to do is get into a process with the mind body that was showing you of learning and then doing, and then learning, and then doing. And every day if you learn a little bit, and every day if you do a little bit, right? So study for 15 minutes, reach out to people for 15 minutes. And then study and then do. If you keep doing those things in that order, you're going to just get better and better and better and better. Because you're going to get feedback from trying and talking to these people. And then you're going to come to Tuesday nights, and we're going to talk about it together. What's working? What's not working? And then you're going to get a little better, and then you're going to try it again. And they, like I said, if you commit to this for you know, a three to five year period, um, you'll have a successful business. So that the longer time you give it, the more you up your chances of success. And that may sound like a, like an obvious statement, but it's not really because you could give your career now 40 years and not get ahead. Depending on what career you're in, you, you know, if somebody's working at McDonald's, they could do the same exact job for 40 years and not get ahead. It's impossible in network marketing to do these things I'm telling you and not get ahead. Literally impossible. Might take you a little bit to start, but once you get going, um, I've, I've just seen too many examples. You know, you go to GoPro, you go to Ray Higdon's events, you see people that were, you know, one week they were on a bench, a park bench as a bum broke, drunk and broke. And somebody had the presence of mind to pick them up by the bootstraps and, and care about them. And like, like Ray would say, they'd love on them a little bit. And um, I, I know one of them personally, I met him. And he's a seven-figure earner in network marketing. So that's what I love about it. Now, that same person might not have been able to be the CEO of General Electric, right? Network marketing is very, very forgiving. Anybody, and I do mean anybody, no matter what your background, does have the same ability to get to the top. It's, the, it's desire is the triggering mechanism. So it's desire and willpower. So that really depends on you. The one thing I can't help you with is desire. If you don't desire more out of life, and not everybody does, and it's fine. I'm not saying I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just saying that's something that you need to, uh, needs to come from within. Um, so guys, what I want to do, let me uh, show you a couple of things, especially if you're new, I want to share the screen on a couple of things that will help you with the education side of this. Uh, if you don't know about rank makers, uh, this is an online service. You can go to Facebook, type in rank makers and it says right here, join group. And I think it's 20 bucks a month, but you will get daily action inside of network marketing. You can literally just surrender to this process. And I think Lisa and some other people here will attest. If you just do what this man says, you can put yourself on autopilot, no pun intended, and just do this for three years and watch what happens. Just do what the guy's asking, you know, um, and you'll transform everything. Another one, uh, can, you, can you guys see the screen? Okay. Uh, Eric Worre's Network Marketing Pro. This is where I personally got, became a professional network marketer. I studied Eric's, uh, the GoPro, like a scientist, all of his trainings. Uh, we have some of his trainings on the Vive Success Network YouTube channel. Um, I highly suggest you, you guys use that stuff. Check it out. Uh, have your downline use it. It's all free information. So between these two, for me, I think you, you'd have a PhD in network marketing. And it even says there, you can sign up for Eric Warriors, get his free book now. I think it costs six bucks in shipping, which is fine. But um, you can get his digital programs. And he, he sends out, he has hundreds and hundreds of little clips, daily emails. It's all training. It's all good information. Um, and another thing I would suggest for your mindset is we have something called the, let me type this in here. We have something called the Matrix Mindset Academy, which is more mindset training. This is, this is not network marketing training, although we do talk about network marketing a lot. Um, that little graphic image I gave you with the mind, the body, the, the sciences behind how wealthy people think and act and operate, uh, we study this stuff and it's the same thing. It's a daily dose. It's on Facebook. If you're interested in performing in all areas in your life at a higher level, um, these are some things. And what I like about these things, all of them, is they're, they're easy to do. They're 10 minutes a day. They're a couple of bucks. I mean, it's just there's, there's, no, there's no excuse for somebody not to um, get connected to the information if you want to grow your business. Um, 
what I want to do, guys, I want to open up for a little bit of questions. I want to take a little action, too, a little daily method of operation. We're not going to do a long one. We're not going to spend a lot of time text blitzing anymore because um, we want to teach it and then have you guys do it. Um, does anybody have any questions or comments on anything I said to date about uh, you know, goal setting in 2019? Hey, Brian, it's Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Uh, just comment on the piece you spoke about, you know, consistency and just surrendering to the process. So doing a 14-day live video challenge on Facebook with Ray. And today his training talked about, you know, some people are on their eighth day of doing a live and they're having a conniption because they don't have people reaching out to them yet. Oh, that's a good one. They don't have, you know, and nothing's happening yet. And, you know, he kind of went off on a tangent and he's like, we're talking about eight freaking days, <laughs> eight days. He's like, what success story do you know of that took place in eight days? Imagine if Colonel Sanders went around and showed his, you know, chicken recipe for eight days and then just gave up on the eighth day because he didn't have any leads. You know, no one wanted to buy his recipe. And so you get the point, you know, and it's consistency. And, and I needed to hear that today. And there was a woman in that group who had surgery on her spine. She could not take a shower. She could barely move. And she has done her video every single day. Mm. That's hunger. That's desire. That's wanting something different. That's wanting more out of life. So really surrendering to the process, sticking with it, and knowing, like Brian, as you said, if we do these four or five things and we do them consistently, the gestation period is going to be different, but we will have success. It's the law. We have to. Yep. No, that's, that's good. And it's funny. We, I think we all hear these things. Like we hear the Colonel Sanders story. Like I think we, we've all probably heard that, but we don't think about it. We don't think, we don't sit there and think that this guy went 69 years in the wrong direction, didn't accomplish anything, got an idea in his mind, thought energy, moved it into motion using the same faculties that we all have, and created an $8 billion Kentucky Fried Chicken empire by the time he was 84. Like, we got to think. He, he was worse off than almost everybody here. He got to age 69. He was suicidal. He had a horrible life. Didn't accomplish much. Borderline suicide. I think he had a failed attempt at suicide at 65. Right? And they said all the network marketing stories. I mean, Oprah Winfrey, I could go on and on and on. But yet, we always think that it's out there. It's other people. It's not us. They can do it, but I can't. Like, we, we got to think. The only difference is desire. And then overcoming fear and procrastination. But I just, I just gave you the roadmap to how that works. The way to overcome it is by holding only thoughts of what you want. Wake up in the morning and just think about what you want. I'm so happy and grateful I live in a perfectly healthy body. I'm so happy and grateful now that by January 1, I passed $5,000 in income in my Vive business. Healthy, prosperous, right? It's, it's an energy transference. If you're thinking negative, you will develop negative cells in your body, also called disease cells. That's how powerful this stuff is. Right, so, so everybody in network marketing that succeeded at a high level started right where you guys are, right where we are. Nobody starts at a million dollars. They all start with nothing. Some of them, like I said, it's weird. It's almost a correlation. The ones that succeed at the highest level seem to have the most horror stories. Like Ray was a million dollars in debt, broke, broke, broke. Like he burnt his whole warm market. That's why he had to go to social media. Like he torched it through real estate. Like nobody would listen to him. Nobody would trust him. But he had a you know, lovely new wife or a fiance at the time and he wanted to build a family and he, he, just, he was sick and tired of being sick and tired. So he did something that some people would think is illogical or rational. He said, I'm gonna, for two years, I'm gonna go for 20 no's a day. I think it was for two years. Uh, he committed to his wife. He said, for two years, it's gonna be hell. But for the rest of my life after that, it's gonna be heaven on earth. So you've got, you guys just need to figure out if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And listen, if this is, um, I always got to, what would you call it? Put a disclaimer in. Don't make my goals your goals, you know? Uh, Viv is a, is a very small bandwidth thing for me. It's, it's a part-time thing. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time to do this. It takes a lot of desire, right? Desire to uh, break through, to, to be the higher version of yourself. And just, I think it takes understanding too. 
of, um, of where you can end up if you just make some small commitments. So one of the small commitments I always encourage people is show up for Tuesday nights for 52 weeks. Just show up. We're going to keep giving you content. We're going to, we're going to train on how to do stuff, how to, how to get customers, how to, right. We're always changing up the training and then teach your team to come on here too, because that's one thing we need is we need to come together as a community and help each other and help people get different points of view, you know, uh, Matt, did you have anything you wanted to add, bud? I uh, mean, it's great content, you know, it's certainly things that I needed to hear too, you know, uh, stop thinking about, you know, I, I got to remember what other people have done, you know, it's doable. You just need to know that it's been done before. And like, we just got to do it, you know, so uh, a lot of good nuggets there. So thank you. Awesome. Well, let's, let's just, let's take a little bit of action here. Let's like, what I want everybody to do, we're not going to do this for long. I want to take 10 minutes. I want everybody here to reach out to 10 people, not 50 or hundred. I want you to reach out to, to pull out your phone, reach out to 10 people and just ask them if they're open. If it's a friend or a family member, say, listen, I just started a new business. I'm reaching out to friends and family. I could look, um, you know, looking for a little help in my business. Would it be okay if we get on the phone for 15 minutes? So would it be okay is a very good uh, statement to lower somebody's walls. You can reach out to somebody you've already talked to six months ago. We have so many new things, so many new reasons to reach out to somebody. I mean, I, I can't even list them all. It's just crazy. So there's always reasons to re reach out to older people from six months ago. And the biggest reason is their scenario, their environment, their situation might have changed drastically. Somebody might have got laid off. Somebody might have had an injury. Somebody had an illness. Somebody's parents, you know, something might have happened. So I had somebody come into my business from five years ago, one of my best friends. Uh, he was one of my best friends when I was younger. And he, he was just, it wasn't for him. Network marketing was not for him, wasn't for him, wasn't for him. And then finally, he got laid off from a pretty high profile job. And he went from 53 bucks an hour to 17 bucks an hour. And also in the meantime, this is something you guys got to keep in mind. In the meantime, he saw my development go through the roof in multiple businesses, all because of network marketing. So his perception of what I'm doing changed and his own environment changed. Does that make sense, guys? So that's why the longer you stay in this, the more success you'll have because people, some people, if it's the first time you're talking, they want to see how you do. They want to see if you're going to be there in a year. Right? So um, there's a lot of different ways you can reach out to people. Um, but the best way I like is open up your phone and start at A. And if you're used to doing that, uh, open up your phone and start at Z. But I want you guys to each reach out to 10 people. And there's a little hand icon. You guys see where you can raise your hand? I think there's a hand icon. Uh, oh, I guess there isn't. Hmm. There was in the beginning before the meeting started. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where the heck that sucker is. <laughs> it's in the more. Like if you click on the more, it, it gives you the option to raise your hand. Does it? In the app. Oh, for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, raise your little blue hands when you get to uh, 10 peeps. Also, too, for you guys that don't have your video on, if you're, if you're able to put your video on, please do, just so we can, we can see you and we can interact. Uh, really trying to build a community where we recognize each other and <laughs> we can reach out to each other. I know some of you might be driving or something, but if, if you are able to uh, turn your video on, please turn it on. We'll get you guys working. So these texts are short and sweet. You can go, I don't even care if you reach out to somebody and say, hey, I was just thinking of you, how you doing? Send that to 10 people. <clears throat> hey, I was just thinking of you, how are you doing? It, you're just trying to start a conversation. That makes sense? You don't want to take 30 minutes to send three texts. We want to go boom, 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 you know? I want to do a little bit more content after this too. We have a, on the, on the, the Vive YouTube channel called the Vive Success Network. We have a lot of text blitz trainings. So you can literally 
sit with your team, put one of those on and let the video play and just follow along. We teach the language, we, what to say, how to say it, different types of people, what you might say. So we have a lot of in-depth trainings on what to say and how to say it. Matt Payne, how many you got, buddy? I just started. I had to get off my phone and onto my other computer so, oh. <laughs> so I could text. Gotcha. But I did, I'll be honest with you. Today, I just, um, you know, after I talked to you this morning, first thing this morning, Brian, and, um, and I said, you know, I just got to make some moves. I got to make something happen. And I spoke to a guy today, and, and truthfully, I think at first I was like, well, what am I going to show this guy? What, what is he going to be interested in? And, and I started throwing all these thoughts in my head, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so I'm like, I almost, uh, I just asked him if he was open. I said, if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing, you know, would you take a look at something? And he said, absolutely. You know, I had a small talk first, you know, so I knew it was financial. You know, he's working like a slave. and. So I just piqued some curiosity, some interest. And uh, so I set up an appointment for 7 o'clock on Thursday, right after our meeting. Awesome. And um, yeah, so I said, I'll figure it out. I'll, figure, I'll, I'll find something good to send them, or maybe I'll do a slide deck or, you know. Yeah. And I, I was almost letting that hinder my moving forward, you know, of not having a good video or, or you know, we make up all this stuff in our heads. Mm. And um, it's we're only robbing ourselves, you know. So for anybody out there, just just keep interest, and we'll figure it out. You know, we'll figure it out as we go. That's it. Yeah, I, I like That's what Bob it. says. I mean, we we have so many tools, guys. It's just a matter, but it would be, <laughs> right. I I could go in uh, to sit with somebody with a pen and a napkin, <laughs> and uh, and show them a little bit about what we do. Now, I'm not. I'm not. That's not the business, but I'm just saying we. Matt hit it on the head. We make all kinds of excuses about why we can't do something um, that, that aren't really real. It's just, it's, just us, it's just us making excuses for not taking action, you know. But here's the, here's the beautiful truth, guys. I mean, I don't own your business. You do. Your, your success in your business has nothing to do with my success. I hope you're successful, and I think you can feel that I'm trying to give you information that will help you be successful. But make no bones about it. My business has nothing to do with yours, you know. Uh, I want to get you guys taking action so you have a successful business. That was a little little love tap to the gut right there. <laughs> Joy, how many texts you send? I'm uh oh. Oh no, I, you can hear me. I'm setting up a um list right now and I, I have the I'm trying to draft a text and I like what he said before. It was that says if it doesn't interfere with what you're doing, would you be interested in checking this out? And that's brilliant way to start it out that's uh lisa kennedy's famous uh line lisa why don't you give us the whole version of that yeah i got a pen and a napkin i'm writing it down <laughs> yeah. if you um if you are in our facebook group too our v success network facebook group i have um a couple of those scripts pinned to the top so that you can just copy it and paste it so you don't have to type it all out. But basically, whether it's a customer or somebody from the from a business perspective, it doesn't matter. You know, and you can do it on cold market or warm market. I do a lot of cold market. Yeah. A lot on LinkedIn. So can you take them in the other room for one second? So if I am reaching out to someone on LinkedIn and I haven't talked to them yet, I just, you know, I might say, hey Brian, how are you? Listen, thanks for connecting. Listen, I know this may seem strange because we don't know each other, but I see that you're in whatever their background is. So for me, I have a medical coding background. I see that you're also in medical coding. I recently started working a project on the side that doesn't interfere. Not sure if you're looking to make some money on the side or from home. If you're open, I'd be happy to send you some information. If not, no big deal. Around that word, around that terminology, but the two big components are are you open and if not, no big deal? Because who doesn't want to be open? If you say, are you interested? People are okay with saying they're not interested, but they're typically right. less likely to say that they're not open. And when by saying, if not, no big deal or no biggie or whatever terminology you would use, it takes the pressure off. And then you can still build rapport with them after the fact. But this way here, you're getting right to the point and you're finding out who's open because truly, we want to know who is open because we're looking to either grow our business by, you know, bringing in other business partners or gathering customers. 
So you can use that with, with either customer or business, just find a, whatever your hook is and use those two components. Hope that helps. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, who else said, I noticed Peter put his hand up. So Peter got to 10 texts. Who else has gotten to 10 texts? I've got 10. You got 10? <laughs> is anybody stuck with what to say? Everybody good? Shane, you got to 10. Awesome, brother. Dig it. Hey, Brian. Hello. Bill Gardner here. Hey, what's up, Bill? Hey, man. Um, so before I get uh, jumping back into my texting again, this is in my head, so I want to kind of get it out before I forget it. I love everything that you're saying right now, and I guess where I find a little disconnect sometimes, and I'll use what Lisa said as an example. Um, the person that she said who, you know, we're eight days in and, you know, I'm not successful yet, for example. Um, if that person had had like the conversation that you are the training, I should say that you just did in the last 40 minutes right up front, I don't think that they would be making the same comment. And what I'm getting at is I think that, you know, we as a group need to kind of go to our leaders and our corporate team and say, that this is an important topic and conversation to be having with people like everyone right up front. And I'll, I'll throw this out as an example, because it kind of speaks to one of the, th the things that you said is that for like, and it was, it revolves around, I don't want you to be like me, but all the time we're being thrown examples of, well, so-and-so became a P320 in 48 hours. And if you're brand new and somebody says that and you're trying and you don't do it, then that can set you up for a false, um, a, 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 you, know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah false expectation. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So, you know, it, it, does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. And one of the things, I mean, um, Cammie, th this training that we do is broadcast and share it to the whole company. They have it in the newsletter and they have it on the calendar, I believe. So we sure, are and I, I, know, I know it's being shared, but what I'm saying is a concerted effort to like grab everyone by the ears and say, hey, this is important. We need to do this in the beginning. Gotcha. You know, like, because it's, it's not done and, and those statements are thrown out all the time. Like I get barraged with this one is doing this and this one is doing that and you need to go do this, this, this as opposed to saying, hey, let's do this training so that you have this ex expectation and this goal. Because everything, like literally, I was, I was taking notes tonight as you were going along and it really, really, you know, sunk in. And for me to hear that on my very first, you know, couple of days mm. in the company would be much more beneficial gotcha. than hearing some of these other stories that we hear. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely work towards that. Um... Well, number one, like I said, this video here is going to be on the, the Vive Success Network YouTube channel. So if you have a brand new recruit, you can sit down and watch it with them, at least within your own business. And we can try to, you know, gain more exposure. Um, so for me, when I sponsor somebody new, coming to Tuesday nights is mandatory. Now, they may not show up, but my training, in my training, I'm saying this is a core thing that we need to do. Because I know if somebody shows up to these trainings for 52 weeks, they're going to they're gonna have a – a degree in network marketing because we've, we've been studying this stuff at such a high level. So that might be something at least for you and your downline that you could do is just say, Hey, come to Tuesday nights, you know, um, and then plug into the Vive success. All these are recorded. We have so many trainings, uh, including this one. And then we can work on trying to push it up line. Like you're saying, you know, no doubt, no doubt. Awesome. So we got a couple more minutes. As I wind down, I just want to... Uh... Brian. Oh, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I got somebody texting me back. I asked uh, if they were interested. Um, well, I asked them how they were doing. I was thinking about you just like you said. I was wondering if you're open to a new business model, if you didn't have to change anything you're currently doing. She said, like, what? And I said, a technology business. And uh, she said she's interested. However, I'm not good with technology. Yeah, so that, that, I'm glad you repeated that. So when she said, what is it? What you want yeah. to do there is, is take it offline. What okay. I mean by that, it's like, let's get on the phone. Let's grab a coffee. Let's get on a Zoom. Okay. And 
no. well, you actually you actually proved a pretty good point because when you said it's in technology, yeah, you just texted her a little more information, and you probably thought that was going to be a cool thing, but she's like, I'm not good at technology. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's completely fine what you did, but I want to highlight when we're contacting, inviting, all we want to do is and then take it offline. Yeah. Right? So, um, well, you could say to her, say, listen, it's um. You could say it's more of a visual thing. I'd love to grab a coffee or get on a Zoom. Yeah. Whatever, you, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's either coffee, Zoom, or a phone call. Right. Okay. So whichever one you want. If it's a phone call, then you call her on the phone, and you send her the video, and you watch it together. She'll watch it on her computer. And, you know, you kind of maintain control of the presentation that way. You know. Yep. Uh, if it's Zoom, obviously it's like here, and if it's face to face, which I think is absolutely the best thing to do if possible. Yeah, I think I like human interaction is a lot better than my first year. That's all. That's really all I did. I did 155 face to face meetings and recruited 55 people. Which video would you recommend me show her? Uh, which Which one do you resonate with the most? I mean, I've been using the I've been using the V Peak video, which is a three quick three minute video. Yep. And. Uh, I mean, I was talking to, to Matt, and he was actually recommending an autopilot video to, to start it off with. You or could, not, yeah. You, I've been kind of going back and forth, so they've it, it both been, you know, good, yeah. depending on, you know, who, who it is yeah. and I mean, how I started the conversation. If you're at the point where you're going to sit for a coffee, though, you want to show them the whole business model, not a three-minute teaser. The three-minute gotcha. teaser, three teaser could be for something like this. I, I personally don't use them. I, I just – peak interest and get a meeting and show the business. Um, but a three minute, teaser, yep. three minute teaser is if, um, if they're not responding, if, you know, if they're kind of like, wow, what is it? You know, just send me something. I, like I said, I don't, I don't really cave into that, but it's better than nothing. Sometimes you can send a three minute teaser video. Okay. But just ask her, just say, listen, I'd, I'd really, you know, I'd really rather show you in person. Um, what night this week or over the weekend works. Love to see what you've been up to. Just go right for the appointment. Okay. And when you say show them the whole business video, would you, would like a, the 10-minute overview or? Yeah. Yep. Okay. One of the longer ones, yep. Yeah, okay. And then book a three-way call with either me, Matt, Kenny, Jay, anybody here, whoever. Okay. Have, have that lined up. So the process would be sit down. First of all, tell your story a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely, always. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That's it, you know. Okay. All right, I'm gonna book the appointment, and then um, I'll get that going. And then if I do get her interested to jump on a three-way call, uh, I'll, I'll reach out to one of you guys. Sounds good, brother. Thank you. Sure thing. So the other thing we have, guys, when you're uh, building your business, especially if you guys are new, we have right after this is an eight o'clock fast start training. So the idea behind this is seven o'clock is for everybody, even if you're in this business for five years. This is where we come together. I mean, you've seen all the interaction here. Lisa had content, Matt had content. It's, it's a, this is a mastermind group where we share ideas. And it could be one small thing that changes everything in your business. Right? So, so I always suggest that everybody shows up for, for two, Tuesday nights at 7, but 8 o'clock is for brand new people. So you can literally, like Joy and Shane, you could sponsor somebody today or tomorrow and then just guide them to Tuesday night at 8 o'clock and we will fast start training. We'll take their list out. We'll help them book appointments. We'll teach them what to say, how to say it, right? So we have a system in place where somebody can run this business without really knowing much about the business. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna grab the link. It's a different Zoom meeting, so I'm going to grab the link. And if, if you guys are new, if you have to be new, that you want to um, get on, I'll hang up for a bit and see if anybody, if any new people. Keep in mind, guys, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So it's literally just getting out there and doing it. You can definitely better your chances and better the odds by obviously knowledge and, and, and doing things properly or in a manner. Um, but if you fumbled and, and showed someone half a video and then another half of something else and, and kind of messed up and maybe the presentation wasn't flawless, but that person saw something in it, you know, um, you're good. So the point is just doing it. No, that's 100%. That's why I said if you're in the process of every day, if you're studying and doing every day, 15 minutes of studying, 15 minutes of reaching out and prospecting at a minimum, minimum daily method of operation. I mean, 30 minutes a day, right? 
that's three and a half hours a week if you're working seven days a week. Like that's a part-time business. I mean, if you can't do 30 minutes a day, uh, you're not in the right business and, and really no business model will work. So um, I highly encourage you to take at least a half hour a day for your business. And that's how you break it up. Study something, study GoPro, get an idea. This is all this language comes from books. I didn't create any of it, I don't think, or maybe some, but for the most part, it comes from people that have demonstrated by the results that they're doing really well. So try to get in that habit of studying and doing every day because you're just going to get better. It's a natural process. All right, guys. So I appreciate everybody showing up. Hopefully you got some value out of that. We're going to post this video and uh, if you want to share it, you can point them to the Vive Success Network YouTube channel and you can. Uh, you can All right, guys. Be well and God bless. Take care. Yeah, thanks a lot.